Welcome to part 27. If you take a glance at the roadmap file, um, we've worked through quite a bit of functionality on this content management system. And basically the last main items that we need to do are actually to build out the content management side of things. Um, we need to create editable regions that will display and that users can edit and add in our what you see is what you get functionality to make the editing those regions easy. So, uh, but before we get started on that, I just wanted to take a step back and uh, say congratulations for getting this far. Um, we're now on video 27, so it means you've worked your way through quite a few videos to get here. So, um, thanks for following along, and I hope you're finding this useful. So, if you do encounter any issues or questions as you're going along with this, you can always email me at ben at killersites.com or post on the Killer Sites forums at killersites.com slash community. So um, I'm around if you need any assistance with this. So now that we have finished that, let's go ahead and dive into the actual content management side of our system. So probably um, the best thing for us to do now would be to leave the core folder alone. Um, that has the basic login and logout functionality we need. But uh, let's create a new folder. I'm going to call it. Um, CMS because it's going to contain the main content management side of our application. And uh, within the CMS folder, I'm going to basically copy the various files here. Um, I'm going to have a mod, or actually, I don't even need a file here. Um, I'm going to copy the folder structure from the core folder. So I'm going to include a models folder. Um, I don't think we need templates. I think it's just views that we need here. And within the CMS folder, I'm going to create a new file. It's going to be called m underscore cms.php. So this is going to be our main content management uh, model. And within the views, um, let's go ahead and create a view for v underscore edit.php and we'll come back to this in a little bit but um, we'll be using these files as we go forward. So to start with um, let's open up our models file and start by creating a basic model. So this is going to be our CMS class and it's going to handle um, all CMS tasks such as allowing admins to view and edit content. Like so. And um, I think we're going to be having a variety of different content types. So I'm going to try to do just the basics for the moment and add to it as we go along. Um, but I'm going to do a private content types variable and I'm going to make it an array and it's going to hold a couple different content types that the user will be able to use in this content management system. It's going to hold something for a what you see is what you get field like this. Um, it's going to hold a content type for a basic text area and it's going to hold a content type for a simple one line input element. And then um, let's create a construct function. And I think what we're going to be doing here is we're going to have quite a few functions within this CMS class and they're all going to refer back to the global FP object so I'm going to create private FP and uh, rather than using global FP let me put this in here rather than adding this line at the top of every single function I've created a temporary variable that will exist within this class so this FP and Rather than simply duplicating the FP object, I want 
the um, FP object within this class to directly refer to the global variable. So I do that using an ampersand FP. So any changes or commands that we call to this FP will directly affect the global FP object. So that takes care of the construct function and allows us to access the global FP variable. But um, let me take a brief step back and talk about how I'm going to approach this functionality. Um, trying to build this out involves a lot of complex functions. Um, we're going to be needing to be able to view content, be needing to be able to grab content from a database, update content, um, create content blocks if one doesn't exist. So I'm going to try to separate this into small steps and build up to creating this large piece of functionality. Um, I think the first step is going to be to edit our index.php file and replace some of the HTML content with calls to a function that uh, retrieves that content and displays it within the page. So I'm going to focus on that first and I'm going to focus on putting the right HTML in place so that when you edit the page um, it's obvious to the user that certain areas of the page are editable. So let's adjust the index.php file a little bit. Um, I think we're going to be using, if we go back to this, um, we're going to be using a variety of content types. And um, the first one, I'm going to replace the content within the h2. And I'll do opening and closing PHP tags. And I think the first thing that I want to do is do fp cms. And I want to display the block, and I'm going to create a function in a couple seconds um, called display block. And it's going to have two parameters. It's going to have an ID, and it's going to have a type. And the ID can be basically anything. Um, my idea here is I want it to be as flexible as possible, and it could be a phrase, um, it could be a simple one word. It, shouldn't have too many restrictions on it. So I'm going to call this um, content header. And um, we're going to have it use the one line content type. And I'm going to copy this line. I'll replace this um, content. I'm going to call this um, main content. And this one is going to be uh, what you see is what you can what you get kind of block. And I'm going to create this display block function so that it defaults to the what you see is what you get type. So I'm going to skip adding in a second parameter. Um, in the right class area I'm going to have whoopsie. I'll just copy that again. I'm going to have, uh, I guess, two blocks here. And I'll just say that this right area is used for some sort of uh, quote area. I mean, I'm not being too picky about this, but um, so I'm going to say it content quote and content, um, I'll call it attribution, I guess. I'm, like I said, I'm not I'm sort of making this up, up as I go. So. So the first block will hold a person's quote, and the second block will, block will hold um, who said that quote. So I believe that takes care of it. I mean, obviously, if you preview this, you're going to run into issues because we haven't linked things up correctly. So that's going to be the next step. Um, let's go to our core.php. And after creating the auth object, we're going to create the CMS object. So I'm going to include at path. Um, it's going to be CMS models m underscore CMS. I'm going to use this CMS equals new CMS. And then up above here, I'm going to add in an extra variable. CMS like so. Uh, 